All right. Anybody live to be 104 deserves a proclamation. So someone uh, that uh, representing Dr. Hector P. Garcia is here for the come, come down and we'll do this. Oh, they're coming down for those of you that uh, uh, aren't old enough to remember. If you got into politics, you made a pilgrimage to Dr. Garcia's office to introduce yourself and let him know you're running for politics. <laughs> Whether he was going to support you or not, you wanted to go introduce yourself and let him know you were in the mix. And we've got a... Proclamation today, uh, celebrating Dr. Garcia's 104th birthday. So uh, we're going to do this, and then I think there's a luncheon later this week or next tomorrow. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> oh, we're having the luncheon. All right. Well, let me read this uh, proclamation, then I'll get you all to make a few comments. Dr. Hector P. Garcia's achievements are of historic importance as a champion in the fight for civil rights for all Mexican Americans. A native from Mexico, he earned his medical degree from the University of Texas, we won't hold that against him, in Galveston in 1940. He served in the Army Medical Corps during World War II where he attained the rank of major and earned a Bronze Star Medal, the European African Middle East Medal with six Bronze Stars, and the World War II Victory Medal. Upon returning to Texas to open his medical practice in Corpus Christi, he soon realized that despite their Courageous service in the military, Hispanic veterans were being denied benefits that they were rightfully entitled to under the GI Bill of Rights. He founded the American GI Forum and grew to become a major civil rights activist that worked to register voters, to combat racial stereotyping, and to bring about more equitable judicial proceedings. This was in addition to his participating in many other vital causes that continued to reflect his deep commitment to treating others with dignity and to work within the system to effect change. Dr. Garcia went on to provide leadership and expertise in the civil rights area for several United States presidents, including President John F. Kennedy, and served in a variety of important capacities during the administration of President Lyndon B. Johnson, including membership on the United States National Commission on Civil Rights and on the National Advisory Council on Economic Opportunity. In 1984, Dr. Garcia was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Ronald Reagan, the highest honor that may be bestowed upon a civilian and was proclaimed a true American hero in recognition of his extraordinary service. Beloved by the people of Corpus Christi, Dr. Hector, as he was known, had a, had a city park, a post office, and a health clinic at Memorial Medical Center named in his honor. In addition, he received the first honorary doctorate conferred by the Texas A&M University of Corpus Christi, which also erected a statue of him and dedicated a plaza on campus in his honor. In 1990, he was further lauded by his exceptional endeavors by Pope John Paul II. A man of tremendous decency and compassion, Dr. Garcia devoted his life to the service of others through his unrelenting efforts to the country he cherished and achieved a full realization of its highest ideals. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim January 17th as Dr. Hector P. Garcia's 104th birthday celebration day in Corpus Christi, Texas, and urge all the citizens to commemorate the birth of Dr. Hector P. Garcia by participating in the annual fundraising event of the Dr. Hector P. Garcia Memorial Foundation as we continue to honor his legacy and service to others. He was quite a guy, and you called him dad, yeah, right? That's my father. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Andrew Thank Roma. you so much. Thank you. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that was my papa. And we are so happy to be here and honored by the city of Corpus Christi again. And uh, this was his hometown. And uh, uh, he loved Corpus Christi and everybody, all the citizens here and took care of thousands and thousands of patients. Uh, while he practiced medicine here. So thank you all for being here and for honoring my father again. Thank you. A family and the foundation would uh, like to thank uh, Mayor McComb, City Council, City of Corpus Christi for everything they've helped uh, us with and, and uh, of course Dr. Hector. Like Cecilia said, Dr. Hector loved this city. This was his hometown. Uh, he would be nowhere else and uh, he's been a great place and a great place to live, a great place to work. Thank you very much. My name is Moses Estrada. I'm the <clears throat> one of the directors, uh, board of directors of the foundation. Thank you. And I am Elva Estrada. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here. I am the 
a member of the American JAG Forum, and also I coordinate the Dr. Hector Garcia State Holiday Activities. Thank you very much. Let's stand up here and get everybody, keep you warm this morning. Get up here, we'll get a stand up and exercise, get a picture. All right, uh, we have another celebration. Uh, Mr. Milton Corbin, if you wouldn't mind uh, coming up here, we'd appreciate it. We want to recognize you. Just c c come right, right through over here, sir. Rudy's going to help me with this proclamation, and so Rudy, this I'll turn it over to you. Good morning. Good morning. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Corbin. Have you got the other yeah, family here with sir. you? The other family here? Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Well, if you want to come up, come on up. Come on, family. <laughs> We've made it 97 years to do this. Come on up. <laughs> Mr. Milton Corbin, in grateful recognition and appreciation, congratulations and happy 97th birthday. Milton Corbin was born on January the 17th, 1921. Mr. Corbin served in the U.S. Army Air Corps as a ground maintenance crew chief from 1940 to 1945, repairing U.S. aircraft in Scotland, France, and Belgium throughout World War II. Shortly after the Allied forces defeated Nazi Germany, Chief Corbin returned to the United States in June of 1945 and was honorably discharged. Of his service in the, th in the theater of battle during World War II, Mr. Corbin is most proud of his crew's record of 157 consecutive unaborted flight missions against Nazi forces. Mr. Corbin earned a Bronze Star for Meridius Service and Commendation Medal and Good Conduct Medal, among others. In 1946, Mr. Corbin re-enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps, which became the U.S. Air Force in 1947. Mr. Corbin went on to serve his country at numerous U.S. Air Force bases in Texas, Louisiana, Puerto Rico, Florida, South Carolina, Kentucky, Delaware, Arkansas, and Massachusetts, as well as in the countries of Turkey and Canada. He retired as a Master Chief in 1963. After retiring, Mr. Corbin and his wife, Georgia Kathleen, known as Kitty to her family, and their children moved to Corpus Christi, where he has lived ever since. But Mr. Corbin was not finished. In 1967, he joined the Corpus Christi Army Depot in a civilian capacity, repairing our nation's military aircraft until he retired in 1984. Therefore, on the most auspicious of occasions, we offer you a heartfelt thanks for your service during World War II and in subsequent years defending our nation, our liberty, at home and abroad, and in grateful recognition and appreciation, congratulations, and happy 97th birthday from everybody in Corpus Christi and everyone and around. We really appreciate what you've done for our country and for your family, and we wish you many more years ahead. So thank you very much. Well, I'll, I'll give this to his family, but you can understand why a guy in a moving business likes people like him. Look how many times he moved in his career. 
We, we really like those kind of folks. <laughs> Introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you. Hi, I'm Scott Corbin, uh, his eldest son of two, and uh, this is my sister, and I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm Debbie Eddy, his daughter. I'm Larry Eddy, and I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Julie Garcia, and I'm Milton's granddaughter. Corey Inslee is my grandfather. And I'm Corey's wife, Melissa. I, I just want to say that we are very proud of him, and we all love him dearly. He's a very godly man that has just raised his children right, loved his grandchildren, and he's just supported the United States with his service, but he's supported this family beautifully. Thank you very much. Wonderful testimony. Let's get up here and get a picture, and then uh, we'll get a hand chance to shake hands with the city council. Let me, let's, I'm going to hold this up here and we'll. All right. 81. And Mr. Pedro Ramirez. And this January was was a good month for birthdays. Longevity, I'm telling you. January 17th, a matter of Whitsit, Texas. All right. Well, that's good. That's where I've got a little place of Whitsit. I hope my lines don't freeze and break over the week. You worked really hard on this that's last right. mayor. <laughs> We really appreciate your being here today, and it's uh, with pleasure that the mayor and the city council uh, offer this commendation to Mr. Pedro C. Ramirez. We commend you for your service to our country, your work ethic, and love of God and family. Happy 97th birthday. Pedro C. Ramirez was born January 17, 1921 in Witsit, Texas, and has been a resident of Corpus Christi, Texas since 1945. Always a hard worker, Mr. Ramirez worked for the Civilian Conservation Corps at a young age prior to enlisting in the United States Army, where he fought in World War II and the Battle of Normandy under General George S. Patton. His selfless service to his country earned him the highest military award, the Purple Heart, and we thank him for his service. Mr. Remit has also worked at the Corpus Christi Naval Base while working two additional part-time jobs. In addition to his military service, he acquired his master electrician's license and owned and operated Ramirez Electric Company for 45 years until his retirement, quote unquote, in 1945, uh, 1995. Although twice retired, he continues to work as a rancher, as he has for the past 50 years, actively raising cattle and ranching in Brooks County. Mr. Ramirez is very independent and still has a valid Texas license. Unfortunately, we understand he's under the weather right now. Probably a good thing he's not driving today. He has accomplished many things in his life and gives credit to God for his good, long, and healthy life, but is most proud of his love of family. He was married for 67 years to the love of his life, the late Guadalupe C. Ramirez, who took exceptional care of him and lovingly supported him. He has helped to raise two successful children, a son and daughter, and is blessed with four grandchildren, six great-grandchildren, and one great great grandchild. He is an inspiration to each of us. So, Mayor, I think that the family wants to make a comment, but you may have a little something you want to say. Well, we just congratulate him, and sorry he's not able to be with us today. I understand he's in the hospital or recovering, and hopefully he'll be back up, and next year on 98, he'll be back, and we'll give him another one of these, but we congratulate you, and uh, I know exactly where Witsit is. From my place to Witsit is 90 minutes. 
at the 75 mile an hour speed limit, Chief. Well, you've, very, uh, you've covered everything. I really appreciate that. I would like to thank everyone here, especially you, Mayor, and the city council members, and all the staff who have been very cordial in coordinating this event. It's very, very special to us. Unfortunately, my father was hospitalized with pneumonia and uh, influenza uh, type A last Sunday, the 7th, and has doing very, very well, thanks to God, and he's in a short-term rehab and hoping to go home very soon. I tell him, if you're well behaved, we'll go right back home <laughs> and go right back to your normal activities. So he would like to thank, uh, on his behalf, on my father's behalf, Mr. Pedro C. Ramirez, I thank each and every one of you for this golden opportunity to honor my father. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Tell him we wish, we'll look for him next year. Thank you very much. Let's get a picture and then we'll get a, uh, Oh, yeah. Tammy was typing something for you and I forgot to get it. Okay. That's uh, Kayla. I've heard that. All right, and to close out this portion of the council meeting, we have a presentation of a donation to the Mayor's Hurricane Harvey Fund by the St. James Syrian Orthodox Church of Corpus Christi on behalf of the Archdiocese of the Syrian Orthodox Church of North America. Hasten, come up with, come up with whoever you got. Anybody coming up for this can bring anyone they want to. <laughs> Thank you very much. I Thank you for being here. passing the, the, uh, the hat around so that, or the tray. So. All right, but tell us what you're doing here. Well, the, uh, the Archdiocese, uh, we have a, really is a small Archdiocese, but it's been in the United States since the uh, 1930s. And, but it's scattered all over the United States with a very small congregation that, of, of immigrants who immigrate from Syria and, uh, and the Middle East. And when they heard the, uh, the uh, devastation of Harvey in, uh, in the South Texas, they, they passed the collection plate around to come up with some, uh, some funding, and they came up with $20,000. Uh, 10000 went to the uh, city of Corpus Christi and 10000 to the city of Rockport. So uh, we have represented the, uh, the uh, city of Rockport with their, their money, and they were very appreciative. And uh, we're here to present to you uh, $10,000 of the mayor's uh, Hurricane Harvey Fund. And this is my Thank you very much. Uh, to my right is uh, Mr. Joseph Afram. He's the, uh, the president of the, uh, uh, the uh, board for our church, and he is going to read a uh, letter from our, our uh, eminence uh, bishop of uh, North America. Joseph? Thank you. Uh, my name is Joseph Afram. I'm president of St. James of Nassabin of Corpus Christi Church. Uh, it's a smaller letter. Uh, it says, uh, to the people of Corpus Christi, Texas, and if I put my glasses, I'll see better. <laughs> Uh, dear uh, beloved in Christ, uh, please accept this check in the amount of $10,000 presented to the city of and the people of Corpus Christi to help those affected by Hurricane Harvey. It comes from the hard work of an effort of people of Syriac Orthodox Church and our diocese of the Syrian Orthodox Church of Eastern United States, led by his eminence, our Bishop Diana John. Kowak. And uh, I'm the president of the church, and uh, Dr. Hayson Daoud is the president, uh, vice president of the church. We thank you very much, Mayor, and God, well, we God thank bless you, and uh, 
he send you uh, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> he cashed it already. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, thank you so much on behalf of the people in Corpus Christi in the area. Thank you very much. We appreciate it very much. And Nathan, we appreciate. Are you still chairman of the Ethics Commission? Uh, or are no, you off? Are you wrote off? Is good. Here's one of the member of the Ethics Commission, Rick. All right, he's, Albie, he's, and, but, uh, you're not the chairman any longer. You're off. Okay. Well, I'll we come, appreciate your down, service sir. there. Okay. Thank but you. we may have to reinstate you somehow. But anyway, let's get a picture. I want to get a picture of this, and then we'll shake hands with all the. Just, just so the public will know, the, the, this response has been tremendous, and we never thought, well, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't have a goal. We just knew we wanted to try to help people, and we knew South Texas is full of good people that want to help other people, and so we established the Mayor's Hurricane Harvey Fund. And uh, with this check, uh, it will bring the total uh, amount of money that we've received in order to help other people uh, if you add this check to it, this gets us to $951,442. And so uh, that, that means there's a, there's a lot of good people wanting to help a lot of other people in times of need. And so we're just very grateful for that. And that's the spirit of Corpus Christi, if you've ever seen it. So we appreciate this, and uh, we'll get on to the council meeting.